Over the Hills quilt tutorial, I'm going to show you how I make my Wabi Sabi curves. And it's a little bit funky, but it's really, really fun. So you start off with a layer cake. A layer cake is a pre-cut bundle that measures 10 inches by 10 inches. So it's a bundle of squares. I'm going to use a Sharpie to, to draw my guidelines, but I would suggest using either just a regular lead pencil or a water soluble marker for your guidelines. Okay, so I have my 10 inch square and I'm just going to start somewhere around 7 inches, anywhere between mm, 6 and 8 is probably safe. 8 is going to give you a really tall hill, uh, 6 is going to give you a very gradual sloping hill, uh, which is nice and you know you can start at 7 on one side and kind of bring it over maybe six and a half on the other so it's more of a, a hump than a hill. And this is where you just have fun with it. Whee! There it is. So we have our hill. So now I'm going to take a rotary cutter. And you can use scissors if you feel more comfortable that way. Um, and also if you're making a larger quilt, maybe a throw or a twin, um, you can stack your squares. So you can get two up to three, I wouldn't suggest more than three, uh, hills at a time. So here I'm going to use my rotary cutter. And what's really fun about this technique is that nothing is exact. So now you have your hill. So this is going to go into your scrap pile. You're actually not going to use this in your quilt. So now you take your 10 inch strip of background fabric that you've already cut. And it's important that you use this how I show you because you should get six blocks out of each width of fabric, 10 inch wide by width of fabric strip. But if you don't do it the way I show you, you won't get that many and then you'll be wasting fabric. Okay, so right sides up. I put this hill upside down. And I make sure that this square I'm going to cut is 10 inches tall. Okay, I don't have a 10 inch ruler, but I have a nine and a half inch ruler, so I'm just gonna eyeball another half inch. So you don't need to be that far. All right, close enough. So now I draw another guideline. Or if you're feeling really wild, you can just go straight in with your rotary cutter. And because each hump is different, each hill is different, each background piece is going to be slightly different and needs to match your hill. So you can't just do a templated back and then have all these different wonky hills. They each have to line up. Okay, so I have my line, if you can see it. And here I just need my piece to be like that. So now I'm going to trim with my rotary cutter and try to be kind of exact at this point because you want them to fit together but you know fabric stretches hallelujah so it's okay if it's not that perfect okay so now I have a set so these two stick together so I'm gonna pair them up throw them off to the side I'm gonna sew them so I wanted to show you how to get six blocks from each 10 inch strip so I'm gonna really fast cut another hill and I'm just gonna go wild with it I'm not even gonna mark it's gonna be crazy what oh my goodness okay so now I have another hill and this is where it gets really fun because you're not gonna be wasting much fabric much background fabric so I just take my hill and I line up this edge and I make sure I have enough here all right. Yep. Cool. So now I see that I can have 10 inches. Let's see, that's nine and a half. Add another half inch. All right. Booyah. So there's my straight line. And now I'm going to see, I'm just going kind of crazy with this. I'm not even drawing my guidelines. And that's kind of fun for me. That's the kind of quilter I am. 
I like to have fun with it. I like to just be fast and furious and go with it. So you get this little scrap, which I'll probably throw away. Unless you're, you know, a paper piecer or something. So now this is a pair. So now I'm going to take these two blocks over to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew them just like I did in my curves tutorial. There's the link to that in the comments below. Now that I have my hill and my background cut, I am taking it to the sewing machine and I am not going to pin anything. As you can see in my simple curves tutorial, I just place right sides together. I line up the edges just like that. And I always put my needle down, so you'll see. And I go really slowly and I just nudge that fabric every couple inches. I just stop. Now I'm going to take this and iron it. So if you look at my simple curves tutorial, you will see how I sewed this together. I just put right sides together, I didn't pin anything, and I just went for it. So there will be, there will be a link to that YouTube tutorial in the comments. So now you're left with this kind of wonka do weird looking block. So we trim. So the unfinished size of this block is 9 inches. So, you know, if I want to make it wonkier, I'll kind of, you know, go that way, go this way. I don't really have a ton of wiggle room. Whoop. See, I didn't even do that right, but it's okay, because I can just recut. And now I flip it. And I line up and I square up the nine on the ruler. And I cut and I cut. And look at that. A hump, a hill, a very nicely rolling mountain. <laughs>